Hi, this is one of my favorite pages in Ivy and Inky Butterfly coloring book. I love that we have so many interesting objects here. But in the same time, this page could be a little bit difficult for beginner colorists to do, because we have here one main difficulty. We need to do the background, which won't be distracting attention from candles, chests and other jewelry. First I thought about plain grey color for the background, but then I decided to do more interesting colors. When I just switched from budget children pencils to more professional sets, I was so happy to find pencils of beautiful, complex, unusual colors, you know, like pink grey or pink beige or grey blue, green brown, which usually aren't available in smaller children's set. So I decided to use for wall one of such interesting colors from Prisma Color set and I will be using rose beige and clay rose. They are both very similar colors like rose with grey undertone, but clay rose is a couple of shades darker. I start my coloring with rose beige and I color areas which are closer to the light of the candles. And also I leave uncolored area around flame. For the areas which are farther from the candle light, I will be using clay rose. And these colors are very versatile. You could combine them with violet, with gray colors, with brown colors, and all mixes will look natural and soft. So I decided to use for shadows pencils from the French grey range. I think that I will be using two colors which are 70% grey and maybe also 90% French grey. I have English edition of the book and sometimes I struggle with coloring with my soft prismas. In order to cover paper quite thoroughly, you will need or to use multiple layers or to use blender or burnisher. My choice is burnisher by Derwent. First, it's available in our stores in my country and also it works great both with my prismas and color softs. So I'll be using it a lot today. When I finished to color a wall with a rosy beige and clay rose, I did shadows on the left sides of the tapestries because we have the source of the light on the, from the right and also I added shadows behind the painting. Next I used beige pencil and it will create highlights or gleam of lights on the wall and also effect of soft warm candle light. Sometimes I notice one small mistake from beginner colorists. They color big areas using just one pencil and one color. But you know that in reality, even in one color, we always have many shades and hues. So if you color something, at least with two similar colors, your painting will look much more professional. And that's why I also colored some areas of the wall using great lavender, another great match to rosy beige and clear rose colors. These were all my hints and advices about how to start coloring this beautiful but quite complicated page. I hope that you find them helpful and that you will join me in the next parts. Thank you for listening and for watching. In the next part we will color something more interesting, maybe painting and tapestry.